please. And if you didn't know, we're having a Valentine's shoot kind of thing going on. So if you want to, like, um, you know, have a couple shoots, you know, something romantic with, with your girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, we, you know, just let me know and then we can do a nice shoot, you know, a nice romantic shoot for you. And also, okay, this is more, the information is, like, posted on my page, so you can just check it out. Like, um, you'll get 200 photos, 15 professionally edited, you know, one photo will be printed and framed. And also, if you want to do, like, a, a couple video, you know, like, a video of you guys, how you met, like, acted out and all that, and it'll be edited, you know, to, to look very cinematic. So just, you know, let me know. My details are on the poster. And, yeah. So for this tutorial, basically, um, we just reached 700. I just reached 700 for my page, and I'm going to be showing you how I give, you know, my photos this vintage kind of feel, you know, like, you can see, like, on this photo, like, there's a vintage kind of feel on the poster and also this is what I'm going to do. So this image, this is what I took. I took it as a raw, raw image and you know I haven't done any editing on it so what I'm going to be showing you is how I transform my images into you know the vintage you see on, on my page. So um, the first step which I usually do is I'll go to the adjustment you know option and then I'll click on curve. This is the area here adjustment buttons right here and then I click on the curve then I you see you get this panel right here after that you know you have this section here with this RGB um, you drop it down and then you see these different things red green and blue so I go to the blue one first and then it becomes like a blue line so I'll take this up you know like let's say take it up to maybe 43 you know it depends on you know the image as well and the lighting on the image so like this, I, this one, uh, I'll keep it at around 45. Then I'll just drop this one a little bit. Already you can see, you know, there's a change in the image. So I drop this down to about output 219 and input 255. And you can see this is before, this is after. Already there's, there's this vintage kind of feeling. And I love, I love, you know, the vintage feel on, on, on images. Then depending on, you know, what kind of vintage you want, you know, there's that red vintage, you know, there's that blue kind of vintage color. And like for this one, I want to keep it like in between, like, you know, red and, and blue and have a little bit of yellow in it. So I'll just drop down this, I'll drop the green. So now we just went to the green section and I just dropped it a little bit. So I get this a little bit of red color in it. Then we go to the red section, we increase the red. So you can see that there's a very, very big change, you know. So after that, I'll drop it down a little bit. You see there's the blue. So you're just balancing the colors out. I just want it right there around the AP. It's a little bit yellow, blue, red, all together mixed up. That's how I like it. Then after that, I'll go to the you know RGB section where you have this black one. Then I'll just increase it up. I'll increase it a little bit so we can get you know some you know fantasy vintage kind of color. We don't want it too dull. Yeah. So it's before, after. Already there's a big change. Let me just drop this. So it's not too much. I don't want too much brightness. Okay, after that, I will just, you know, save it, and then um, maybe I want to add some, you know, lighting in the background, just to add some, you know, fantasy kind of feel, so I'll just open another layer, and edit a layer, and then I'll just, you know, play around, I'll start keeping different colors around, you know, like, some white colors around, you know, this is maybe here at the top of her head just to give that effect as well of the fantasy feeling like you know lost in the woods or lost in the in the water but anyways yeah so this is what I, I'll do then maybe I'll just decrease it a little bit let me just decrease it on it too much okay and then that's that's dope yeah I like that okay so after this I'll you know open and I'll copy the layer after that I'll go to the you know layer options the blending blending mode option and then I'll keep it as soft light. Soft light makes it a little bit dark so I just don't want it too much. I'll decrease it with the opacity, I'll play around with the opacity and then we'll get that kind of feel. You know it's strong but it's not it's not that strong. Let me just decrease it a little bit more. Okay, save, then I'll copy the layer again. I will go to the filter section because I want to make it more sharper. So I'll go to the filter section, I'll drop down to other and then take high pass. High pass uh, you get this panel, I usually keep it at 4.0 and then I press OK. Then I'll go to the blending 
options and then I'll check um, with a so soft light it, it's not that strong the more you drop like hard light is a bit stronger vivid is, a, is more stronger linear light is very strong okay so like I want to keep it in between so you can see like in if we keep it in hard light before okay let me just zoom in so you can see this Be before this is before and this is after you can see that there's a the sharpness has increased a lot that's quite dope but then we don't want to keep the sharpness on the skin because we want the skin smooth you know so I'll just clear out the, the skin here let's make it all smooth here I just uh, put, kept the mask on the layer of the sharpening so I'm using the brush tool and I've kept it on black so I can be able to crop out the area which I don't want to be sharpened on the layer okay so that's about it it's sharp in there so um, this is the you know like it just took about I don't know you know a few a few minutes just a few minutes and then we already um, got this final image this is what I like to, to have but okay before I actually finish let me just show you a little thing which I keep for myself I usually add some noise because then you know if you want a vintage image it's not always you know clear it's not like you know the high quality camera so I just add a little bit of noise into the image you know so you can just get that look like the real real vintage feeling you know with the little grain so you can see before it was very clear after you get a little bit of you know grain into the image that's what I like you know so uh, I keep it like that and uh, so this is the final image you know after keeping the vintage in it um, there's other techniques you can check around online you know if you wanna you know try out something new just go YouTube and then search um, vintage uh, effects or if you like mine you can do my effect you know with the steps which I've just done I hope I wasn't going too fast and if you come up with a good image you know or you tried it out just you know take take the picture and post it on my page you know and then uh, I can you know get to see what you guys made with my with the effect which I just did um, I hope you liked it I hope you liked the story thank you for the 700 likes and um, if you want to do the Valentine promo just let me know plus I forgot to show you so this is the after image and before this was how it was this was the original image from the beginning so before and after is the vintage effect this is the vintage effect. so you can see a very big change before and after I think you know the vintage effect is much better it looks much better so thank you again uh, don't forget to subscribe for more video tutorials and also if you want to see the behind the scenes video shoot for this is called butterfly kisses just go to um, my video section and you can see um, the how I did this photo shoot it was a lot of fun thanks to the model who uh, Homer and also for the modeling and styling uh, make him sorry makeup and styling done by um, Huda and uh, assistant photography by Sarah so thanks a lot to the team and I uh, hope you will like the effect have a good day ciao